Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We are now on our final descent to Manisa in Turkey. Welcome everybody to Turkey. And here we see the power plant Özmen 3 rated at a net power output of 22 megawatts. This power plant is equipped with an Atlas Copco gas and process radial inflow turbine called EGI 88, what means dual stage, integrally geared and frame 8 impeller size. The whole power plant was made according to the design rules of the made in Turkey requirements of the Turkish Ministry of Energy for a high feed-in tariff. It was completely designed, built and taken operation by the Turkish EPC partner of us, Egesim. And while of course the whole power plant is a beautiful piece of engineering, the most dominating part is the air-cooled condenser or ACC. The ACC consists of heat exchangers and some fans that uh, yeah, pull the air from the lower side to the upper side, thus it cools the bundles or they are called bays and it's rejecting the heat from the butane gas into the ambient air. But before the butane gas is entering the ACC, the remaining heat after the expansion process is taken out to preheat some more gas before it's evaporated. This is done in the recuperator. Behind the steel structure, the expansion turbine hides, what is in the end the centerpiece of this whole power plant. And this expansion turbine drives a generator made by TDPS, also per the made in Turkey requirements. And the whole energy of this power plant before it's uh, going into the expansion turbine is delivered by the evaporator and the superheater that take the heat from the brine and put it into the butane. And of course, heat is nothing without pressure. Therefore, you need a set of feed pumps, the so-called ORC feed pumps, that are pumping up the liquid butane to the right pressure before it's evaporated and fed into the radial expansion turbine. Now, let us get a bit closer to the turbine. This video was taken before the acoustic insulation has been finally installed. So you can see and hear that the turbine is really making a heck of noise before this insulation is installed. That's the reason we have also the silences downstream of the turbine. But now I will just keep my mouth shut and just leave you alone with the sound of power that you're about to hear. One must really admit that this sound of power is really impressive. And now we are taking a closer look to the expander itself. And you can see here the discharge cone of the machine that is attached to the housing. And the housing itself is connected to the inlet pipes that feed in the high pressure butane to the machine. And on the left hand side here you can see the silencer that is essentially yeah, lowering the, lo the noise level in the pipe before it's going to the ACC. And you see Further to the right, the so-called discharge cone, what in the end is nothing more than a diffuser, as it's named here, takes the velocity and turns it into uh, pressure. Further to the right, the expander with the gearbox. In the end, this expander is running at close to 9000 RPM and on the low end, it's at 1500. And here you can see the inlet trip valve. As our machine is equipped with the inlet guide vane technology, this inlet trip valve is nothing more than just an on-off switch and an emergency shutdown device. The power of the machine is controlled by adjusting the inlet guide vane mechanism. Let us take a closer look at the inlet guide vane mechanism itself. You can see here that in blue, these are what we call the inlet guide vanes or the blades. 
These blades are movable, they are located on a pivot pin, and they can be all simultaneously rotated by the outer ring. They will accelerate the high pressure gas towards the impeller wheel, which is giving up, up its power as rotational uh, yeah, energy to the pinion and the gearbox. And the low pressure gas is then discharged via the discharge cone on the left hand side. So all blades move at the same time. And now I hope you are not afraid of heights because we will climb up the stairway on top of the ACC. And the view is quite spectacular, it's like 20 meters above the ground and also the wind is pretty strong blowing today and something literally super sweet. The neighbors, the farmers that are growing something next door are raisin farmers. And the raisins grown in the Manisa region are famous for being super sweet. You can see here that um, yeah, something you you would you would like to taste probably. But since this is a virtual tour, sorry, no taste today. Let's move down now the catwalk. How this walkway in the middle is called. You can see the driver motors for the ACCs, and here we have the special features. Since these motors are mounted on the upside with a gearbox driving the ACC blades, they can be maintained pretty easily. And also the complete control and electric room was entirely made by Egesim using Siemens components, as Egesim is a Siemens premium partner. And now with the final look on yeah, what I think is a pretty cool feature, this all-in-one dashboard, that shows right now 15 megawatts of power output for a lot of Turkish homes, I want to close up this virtual side tour. I hope you enjoyed to stay here with us in Turkey, even though it's just a virtual one. I hope you had a good time, learned a lot of new features about Atlas Copco, our turbines, the great job that our friends and partners of Egesim did, and I hope to see you soon in reality, maybe even on one of the further side trips.